this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this episode, I'm going to be joined by Polly Reindeer, who is for once not throwing snowballs over at my balcony. Polly! Polly, are you having a lion? Polly? Well, hopefully Polly's going to be joining us today in this episode, but we're not only going to be joined by Polly, if we are being joined by Polly at all, we are also going to be joined by Fizzy Elephant. So, good morning, Fizzy, and welcome uh, to the, the episode. And, uh, of course, he is beginning the episode, as he always does, by jumping in a circle backwards holding a cookie. Actually... That's the first time I think I've ever seen Fizzy doing that. But who knows with Fizzy? It's not <laughs> unlike something that he would have done before. Anyway, something which isn't unlike something I would have done before. There we go. That was an okay link. Is uh, eat my breakfast. Let's go and uh, eat that down now. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, very, very tasty. Barnaby, uh, you can stand up and uh, you can join me. And uh, let's go and start things off by uh, going and heading to my love garden. Uh, so yeah, I can let you know who it is that I'm adding to it today and uh, who it is I am saying thank you to. And where where has Polly got to? Actually, to be fair, I haven't seen Polly since the last episode. In the last episode, she kind of she kind of vanished. <laughs> so, but I don't know if she had just somewhere to, to go, somewhere to be or whatever. Just got, just got bored building and just wandered away. And I haven't actually seen her since then. So yeah, hopefully uh, she will be joining us at some point in the, the episode. Uh, but yeah, anyway, to the, the love garden today, I am going to be adding Daniel. And the reason I'm adding Daniel is because he had a stampy themed birthday for his seventh birthday. And you can see him here lying across the, the table. Uh, with a Stampy Cat book. He's got a Stampy Cat cake as well and a I Pork Chop Minecraft t-shirt. So thank you uh, so much for your Stampy themed birthday. The cake looks amazing and welcome to my love garden. Right then, let's go to the, the, the doghouse and we <laughs> still still going, still going fizzy. I think you're going to be called Dizzy rather than Fizzy at the uh, the end of the episode if you carry on doing that. <laughs> yeah, so let's go to the, the doghouse and we can choose uh, which dog is going to be joining us. And uh, you can probably guess what it is we're going to be doing today. Uh, we started building a new mini game in the, the last episode, which is going to be called Jump In. Uh, I do believe as in like jump in as in jump in and then also jumping. I don't know. I quite like the, the the name of that game. So yeah, that's the the name of the the game we're building, and we're going to be continuing to build it to, today. And uh, Benji, uh, you can uh, join us for today's episode, and we will be using the, the the teleporter in order to to go down and get to the the game. So we're not going to be spending any time traveling there. We are going to be right there. So. And uh, the last episode, we very, very, very quickly somehow uh, were able to build like the entire outside area of the game, all of the, the floor, all of the, the walls and well. And uh, this is a parkour game, so uh, it's all about jumping across platforms, platforms that will sometimes be raising and lowering uh, as well. And uh, today we're going to get all of those platforms done, so then that way we can actually properly start to, to play the game. But first, uh, let's go and teleport off to the Funland, and I do believe that we should be just about at the, the Funland now. So let's go and uh, exit the, the teleporter, and oh, let me go up to the... the the top of the the temple trap pyramid and let me show you what the game looks like from above because i think it looks really cool because there's just so many like pale kind of bluey games of all of the the water and the the ice around and doesn't it really stand out like the only thing in my love ga uh my, my love garden in my fun land that i can really think is similar to it is you know that i think it's the the slime time game it's called where like one half is kind of these colors but it's all wool rather than the the concrete so uh, yeah i do think that this place just uh already really stands out and uh, it's only going to end up being more colorful so let me just explain the way the, the game works in case you can't remember basically you're doing a lap so you'd start off here and there'll be a bunch of platforms that you need to, to jump around going all the way around this way, looping back on yourself, and then going around the, the other way uh, until you do a lap. I think I'm going to do it so you have to do either two or three laps, I think, mainly, is the, the way we're going to, to do it. But when you get to, to here, there's going to be one platform that you need to jump on, and when you do, a bunch of the, the, the platforms are going to sink down lower, basically meaning that if you jump on them, you're going to get stuck, or you just can't go as fast. And uh, yeah, it's going to basically keep switching from being not too difficult to, to then being pretty difficult cool and it's just going to really affect the the way that you need to, to go and uh, and race around so right then today is all about building in the, the platforms that's pretty much the the only thing we have to, to do today uh i know it sounds like <laughs> it's going to be really easy but there are a lot of platforms that we need to, to go and add in so let's not waste any time and get started so there's going to be two different colors of platform uh there's going to be ones that uh, are going to be green like the the ones that i'm placing in now and then there's going to be the the red ones uh, as well and the, the red ones are going to be the ones that kind of sink up and down so uh, i'm just gonna need to, to put a piston on the the floor you're going to be able to see the pistons but all of the the other red stones going to be hidden under the the ground and so basically this is going to be them in their lower down state so if uh, you jump on that there then 
if it's low down, there won't be anywhere where you can go forward. Uh, but uh, if it is up, then you'd be able to, to jump across to, to this next platform, uh, which is going to, to be over here like that. So that's basically the, the way the game is going to, to work overall. And I have kind of got a a design already worked out for the, the layout of the, the game. Like, I'm not just kind of randomly placing these down the, the way it looks. I've kind of, uh, in my sketchbook world, which uh, you may have uh, uh, seen the behind the scenes of the of me designing this game, I've already kind of worked out where the platforms are, because it's, it's really important to, to, to get it exactly the, the way it needs to, to be, because you want to make sure that it's, of course, possible to, to make it around on either route, whether the, the red ones are up or down, but you want to make sure that it's definitely faster to use the, the red ones, just to, to have a benefit, but you need to make sure that you can get around with the green ones. But as you can see, even just using the, the green ones, you're still pretty fast. Like, it's never going to be a slow game. Like, you're always going to, to be moving really quick uh, just because the way the jumps are, like, the jumps aren't meant to be challenging within themselves. It's a race. It's a race to, to get around as fast as you can, and then the, the real challenge is getting around as fast as you can, and then also not falling down, because if you do fall down, that is devastating, because you go right back to the beginning of the, the lap. No like no matter how far through the lap you were so you could literally get to uh, I don't know like right over here where you're just uh, a few jumps from being able to, to finish if you fall down you got to go back to the, the start here and you're basically starting the entire thing again so don't fall down is basically uh, the advice that I can give for you when you're racing but hopefully just me doing this is giving you an idea of just the the speed you're going to, to be jumping around and how fun it's going to, to be and this is with all of the, the the red ones down so we can do a few tests in a minute. Uh, once I've, well not in a minute, uh, in, a, in a few minutes once I've got the, the game built uh, a little bit more and I can show you kind of the, the different routes that you can go. Uh, one when you're using the, the red ones and then when you're using the, the green ones uh, as well. Alright then, let's go and carry on. So there needs to be a uh, one which needs to be level with this here uh, and then uh, next to the, the wall here like this. And have I missed out any in the, the middle? This seems like too, too difficult of a job. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be one more uh, which has got to be two blocks away from here. So yeah, this one's supposed to be here like this, I do believe. Is this the, the way it's supposed to, to be? Uh, and then there's supposed to be one which, oh no, this one should be one further back in this direction I believe. And then there's one long one uh, along the, the back here. So this is kind of a, a good place to, to give an example of how it works with the, the red one. So if this red one's up, you can jump to here and then there's going to be a shortcut where you can jump straight over to another block which is going to be over here. But if that one's down you're going to, to have to go and jump all the way to, to this one which is at the, the very back along here and because you're on the, the outside, it means you're just traveling further and there's more jumps you need to do. So you're going to have to jump to this one and then there's going to be a gap of three here and then there's going to be another two block one here that you need to, to jump to. So the reason these ones here are all right against the, the wall is just to make sure that you can't kind of cheat and jump from that green one to, to here. So basically, if you went to, to here then you can't jump to them. And then from the red one, uh, you well, you can kind of jump around the corner a little bit, but that's going to be a little bit too difficult. So it means that, yeah, if the, the red one's up, you have a way shorter course that you need to, to go on uh, compared to, to if they're if they're down. But uh, it works for everyone. That's the thing you've got to remember. It's not like, oh, you're going to like lose out. It's going to be slower for everyone. The thing is, though, is you might not be watching when someone sets it off. So you never know exactly when it's going to be set off. You can kind of see the, the other players. So you might have a, a pretty good idea idea, but you're never going to know exactly when it is going to be set off, so you always kind of be a little bit on your guard, especially if you are going a route where you're committed to going on the red ones and then they suddenly drop down. That could actually sometimes end up being worse than if, like, you never even tried to go that route at all. But anyway, uh, we need to add in the, the block that you can jump onto from here, so we need to go one across, and then we need to go up here by one, two, three, and then I believe it should be right uh, about here. And then we're going to add a, another red one on here. So this is a good example. If this one was lifted up like that, uh, you could go and go boing, boing around the corner and then straight to here like that. But if this one is down, then I could still jump to here, but that's a very, very tricky jump to do and one I wouldn't risk doing. So you're instead going to have to go boing, 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 just to get to the same block. So that is how much uh, of a difference it can can make, uh, whether they're they're up or down the, the, the red block. So uh, once again, we're going to have like a, a shorter route on the, the red blocks, but this time it's going to differ. So this time, the outside route is actually going to be kind of like the, the faster of the, the two routes. So uh, I've got this blocks, uh, these blocks are going to be here. We're going to leave a gap of one 
and then I'm going to go and leave a gap of one here, and then there's going to be a single block here, uh, a gap of two, and then a, a two block gap here. And so these ones that you can, you can get to, to kind of these ones uh, either way, whether the red ones are, are up or down, but then there's going to be two red ones here, uh, which are going to be very important. And this needs to be in line with this one here, and then this one uh, there as well. You're kind of going to have to bear with me a little bit because I do like a, a picture, kind of like a graph of where all of these things are going to, to, to be. And I'm trying to work out from uh, from that uh, to, to work out exactly where they're supposed to be. And it's not the easiest thing in the, the world, but I think so far... I probably haven't, but so far I think I've got it roughly right. And it doesn't matter, like, I could end up kind of changing this layout. Like, this layout isn't destined to exactly be like this, but all I want to, to make sure I do do uh, is to... Who laughed because I said doo-doo? Put your hand up. Be honest. Who laughed because I just said doo-doo? I had to resist laughing myself, to be fair. So <laughs> I'm not one to, to judge. But yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so all that really matters is to make sure that I have the, the design completely worked out before I do the, the redstone. Because of course I need to, to link up all of these uh, these pistons. I know I literally at this point say every single time. But the redstone is simple. The only tricky thing is you need to make sure that when people do go and press the... didn't say do-do, I just said do. Uh, when people do <laughs> press the, the, the pressure plate, uh, it, it, so it, I needed to make sure all of the pistons either extend or all of the, the pistons go down, because otherwise they're just going to go up for a second and then kind of go back down again, so you need to, to kind of make sure that they stay up and stay down. So that's the only relatively tricky part, but there's pre a pretty cool uh, solution to, to being able to, to do that. Uh, but apart from that, uh, all, of, all of this is is just linking these up with just redstone torches underneath them. Uh, that's basically the, the only thing that you need to, to do. So yeah, as I said, this is going to be the, the faster route on the, the outside here. And sometimes it's not it's not just a case of, oh, it's faster because there's less jumps or it's on the, the inside. Sometimes it's just that you can you can go faster. And let me go and uh, place down these pistons here. And then let me go and kind of uh, demonstrate what it is that I'm, I'm talking about. Because sometimes longer jumps are actually easier to, to do than, than shorter jumps. So let me go and uh, just place this to, to get up to, to here for, for now. And so let's say I'm going on the, the inside green course, which means I need to go to here. I need to jump back to this one and then back to this one. And these jumps are pretty slow. It's like I kind of need to jump and then wait and then jump and wait, jump and wait, jump and then jump like that. But if those red ones were all up, uh, I might actually just go and place down blocks on top of them for, for now, just so I can kind of demonstrate. I'll show you just how much faster uh, you're going to be able to, to make your way across them because you'd get to, to here uh, these blocks imagine these are up I could go now I can go jump 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 like that see how much faster that is see how much faster it is even though like it's pretty much the same amount of jumps and the jumps are, are further uh, it's way quicker than these ones which are just uh, a lot more fiddly so uh, sometimes it's not just a shortcut that you're doing you can just simply jump faster and uh, then there's going to be this one on the the corner uh, which is the one i would have jumped to from there and this jump looks really difficult from here but if you were doing it in the way that i was and built up all of your momentum uh, that jump actually wouldn't be uh, too difficult and would kind of allow you to, to travel a really big distance in a very short uh, amount of time so we're kind of getting to like the one of the the last bends now and then this stretch is actually my my favorite stretch out of all of them where it basically is just going to zigzag back and forth the entire time and uh, it's just going to be more easy to to be able to to do it uh, if the the red blocks are up compared to, to down but apart from that like what you're actually doing isn't really going to be any different uh, it just means that there's a, a much greater chance that you're going to, to fall down and have to, to start again uh, if all of the, the pistons are down i'm actually run out of um run out of lime green concrete i think that I think that Fizzy, has Fizzy disappeared as well. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that Fizzy might have some on him, but oh, there he is. Fizzy hasn't disappeared. Okay, that's good. Uh, Polly has still hasn't shown up either, by the way. It is actually worrying me a little bit. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure she's gonna show up soon. Actually, I know she's gonna show up for the, the next episode because that is when we're gonna be doing all of the, the redstone. But anyway, Fizzy, what? What is this? What what has been going on? <laughs> What's good going on down here? The cookie garden. Oh, he's built Fizzy's cookie garden. And uh, let's see who we're going to be adding to the cookie garden today. It looks like today we're going to be adding cookie for being a cookie, cookie for being a cookie, cookie for being a... You get the idea. He's just added a whole lot of cookies to his cookie garden. It's looking lovely, Fizzy. It's looking like a lovely cookie garden. I must <laughs> say so. Do you have any spare lime green concrete that I can borrow? No, it's See, you see, these are cookies. You see, I understand where the confusion came, Fizzy. I can see how you got confused, but you see, they're actually cookies. See, now you're just jumping backwards in a circle holding a cookie. Ne neither of the two things that you just did was giving me uh, lime green concrete. Both of them just involved you either dancing or, or throwing cookies. Um, 
Fizzy, can I please have some lime green? Like, I'm, ne I'm nearly done. I'm doing the last little fun bit where you zigzag back and forth. Like, throw me the concrete. I'll finish off the, the game, and then we can go and have a, a quick race test to go of it, and uh, see who is going to be better at doing the other jumping. I knew it! I knew you had it! I'll give it! Fizzy, please stop teasing me! I can't bear it anymore! All I want is a bit of- I don't even need much more! I don't even need much more concrete, Fizzy! Don't come back! Come back here, Fizzy! I'm not- I'm not chasing you around all day! I'm not gonna- I'm gonna refuse. I am gonna stand here, and I'm gonna count from ten. Okay? And if the- the lime green, green concrete- isn't thrown to me. By the time I finish counting from ten, there will be consequences, Fizzy. Consequences. And if you don't want to find out what those consequences are, I would throw me that concrete. Right. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One! Right, now you're gonna have to suffer the consequences. Oh, we're gonna have a, a quick test of the, the jobs. Right, the consequences are, Fizzy, that I am gonna speak to you in my angry voice and use your full name, okay? <clears throat> oh, he didn't want me to use my angry voice. He did not want me to use <laughs> my angry voice. Is anyone else wondering what Fizzy's full name is? It's just Fizzy Elephant. That's all it is. Right then, right now I've got this. Oh, why am I, why am I picking it up? There we go. There, I've actually picked up the uh, the, the lime green concrete. All right, let me go and finish off this uh, this last little stretch. And then, as I said, uh, we can go and do our, ourselves a, a test to go. So this part's actually really, really simple because it's basically just the, the same thing again and again, uh, zigzagging back and forth. So uh, there's going to be a gap of... Um uh, so there needs to be a gap of two and then there's gonna be the same thing on this side here Where it's just the the red one against the the wall and then the the green one So basically if the red ones are up It just makes it easier because you're gonna be zigzagging back and forth like this the the whole time uh, And it just means that uh, if they're they're the the red ones up It's just way easier to, to do basically uh, so right then how big of a gap is there between them one two three four five So it means we need the same this side one two three four five. Yep. This one's perfect here Let's go and add this uh, this red one in and then the last one I believe is down here So one two three four five and then this one goes here that's where the red one's going to, to be and then the the green one's going to be here like that so yeah you're going to be going like boom and then over to, to this one here like that and then boom and then boom and then boom and it's just really fun it's just really fun just zigzagging back and forth like that and even with the, the oh i was gonna say even with the the red ones down it's not too difficult as i say that i fall down so maybe it is difficult but the thing is at that point You'll be right at the, the very end of your lap, and you're going to be so, so scared to make a mistake. Because as I said, if you fail then, if you fail then, I know it's going to happen when we have the tournament. But if you fall then, it's going to be the worst thing in the world. Because you will be literally uh, starting all the way back at the beginning. All of your progress would be lost. And yeah, not a, uh, a very fun time for, for you, basically. And then the, the last little obstacle is there's a red one here. Which means that from this one, if the red one's up, you can jump onto to this here, and then you can land on what is going to be the final podium. This is the, the final thing that you need to step on. It should be three blocks away from here, so I think it should be one closer here like this. And this is going to be the important one. I'm going to go and... <laughs> I'm going to mark it by putting a dog on it. No, I'm going to mark it by uh, putting a um, a pressure plate on it because uh, this is the the one that's going to to set all of the the redstone off. So this is going to be the the one that when you jump on, uh, that's going to be dropping down all of the the red blocks. So let's just go and mark that now to to make sure I don't forget by putting a pressure plate on it. And then I can kind of give you an example of what I was uh, was saying about. So yeah, if that red one was up, you could jump straight to this one and then to there. But with it down, I think I think it might be literally impossible. It might be just about possible but i don't know whether anyone would uh, would want to, to risk doing that uh, at that point so right then fizzy let's go and have a, a race let's say first person to complete a lap but remember if you fall down at any point during this you have to start from the beginning so wait 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 wait, wait fizzy fizzy we've not started yet so yeah first one to complete a lap fall down you've got to start from the, the beginning some of the red ones are up some of them are, are down uh, so we'll kind of just um we just leave them as, the, as they they are for now so all right fizzy come back to the, the starting line i'll go three two one go and then we can begin our little tester game right three Two, one, and go, 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 go. All right, let's try and get a lead because you don't nudge into players on console. You can't knock each other off, but you can kind of get in each other's way. So it's always easier to be by yourself. And oh no, I have fallen down already. I've already fallen down. So this is where it really matters for, for Fizzy because Fizzy 
unless I'm super duper fast, he can really take his, his time and just make sure he doesn't fall down. Because if he just doesn't fall down, he should be okay. But then again, I'm going as fast as I can to catch up and I'm getting pretty close to, to catching up. So you're going to have to speed up a little bit now, Fizzy. Once again, though, I'm going the slow road. I don't know why I went the slow route there because the red ones are up. But oh, I've nearly caught up with him. I've nearly caught up with him. And oh, we didn't build that one all of the, the way up. But look at this. Oh, we're nearly neck and neck. We're nearly neck and neck. Can I overtake him? I was able to overtake him. But no, I fell down. <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew it would happen. I knew that someone would fall at these last few jumps. I didn't know it would happen to me right away during the test to go. That was about to be the most epic comeback of all time as I went to streak past him. But the final like little jump, I fell down. That is sad. That is sad. But that is a great example of how fun this game is going to, to be. Imagine that. But doing three laps and having four people running around at the, the same time, it's going to be chaos. It's literally going to be chaos. Uh, but sadly, though, uh, that is the, the end of this episode here. So in the next episode, I will be hopefully coming back with Polly and uh, we'll be making sure the, the whole game works. And then we can have a uh, another test to go uh, where we can see it with the, the pistons going up and down because that's a, a really important part of the, the game, uh, but one that we didn't have in the, the little test to go there. Uh, but apart from that, that is the end of this episode here. I want to say a big thank you to Fizzy for eventually throwing me my concrete and for building this beautiful cookie garden down here. A lovely uh, addition to my lovely world. But sadly, that is the end of it here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!